We're with Coach Leon Johnson after the NCAA Track and Field Championships have concluded in Eugene, Oregon. Four Demon All-Americans in the 4x100 meter relay, adding to that Janae Allen with uh, an All-America honor in the women's discus. Uh, that makes 70 Northwestern athletes who have won All-America honors since we joined Division I in 1977. Uh, Coach, you've coached most of those. Uh, it never gets old seeing these people achieve at the highest level of your sport, does it? Never does. Pretty amazing feat, though. Put it in context of what All-American means in this sport as opposed, really, to any other. Well, the amazing thing about track and field is if you're going to become an All-American, you have to do it the day of the competition. It's not voted on by anyone. You earn it with your performance. And we've been very fortunate to have some outstanding athletes that uh, achieve that status. Talk about this year's meet in particular, your four by one team, and your expectations for that team beginning the season. Well, it's been a goal all year to become All-American. And uh, they set that in their sights and they worked hard to obtain it and it become a reality. It's amazing. You had two freshmen. A senior and a junior coming off reconstructive knee surgery, so it wasn't exactly the formula to make an All-America team. They took us a couple of meets early in the year to find out the best combination, but once the, the four established themselves and we decided what order they were going to run, then things started clicking and they started running well, and it paid off in the end. I know that one of the things you felt like uh, was maybe holding your team back a little bit was Oddly enough, usually in this event you have great competition in this area, but you didn't really run into good competition throughout the year to bring out the best in your team until regional championships. We ran well about midway through the season, a meet at LSU called Alumni Gold, and we weren't in the fast heat that day, but we won our heat and ran a pretty good time. Uh, we saw what we were capable of doing, and. Our goal was to eventually get to the point where we'd run against LSU and try to beat LSU. Because we knew if we could do that, then we'd have a chance to be All-American. Okay, now tell me about the race at the national meet. Um, your team ran nearly a half second faster than it ever had before. It ran the sixth fastest time in school history, a time that was faster than any other team since 1982 at Northwestern. We just tried to become competitive. We didn't worry too much about what kind of time we was going to run. We knew if we had the competition, we were competitive in the race, that the time would be there, and uh, it kind of worked out for us. This team, did it surprise you any more than some of your other All-Americans, was, or, or was this something you felt like was within their grasp and they just needed to go out and get it done? Well, we've known all along it was within their grasp, and it was just a matter of us putting it together. and them doing it on the day we had to do it. And they came through for us. But still, this team came into this, there were 24 teams, it had the 22nd fastest time and right. finished 12. But head-to-head -head competition, we got it done. And that's what it's all about. It's not how fast you run at the national championship, it's where you finish. And thank God we were able to hold off everyone and finish. I think we were 11th or 12th overall. Amazing thing about that, Doug, we ran 39.57, I think it was. And if we'd have been in the final and run that fast, we'd have probably been in the top six teams. Mm. But like I said, you got to do it the day it counts. And I know one thing that you're proud of, four guys from Louisiana, two from Shreveport, two from Slidell. Right. Yeah, that's pretty amazing to take four guys from Louisiana. With the team that become national champions in 81, they didn't have four from Louisiana. Now you've got three of these folks who will return next year, but one, Kendall Taylor, who's a senior, who I know has been very important to your program. Yes, he has. Been, came in as a county of recruited walk-on, uh, started training, had some good athletes to train with, has had the ability, we knew from the very first day he stepped on the track, he had the ability to accomplish the things that he accomplished. It's just a matter of uh, getting him in the right situation. And he okay. came through for us. And then Justin Walker's story is a little understated, but coming back from a reconstructive knee surgery uh, to run and achieve at this level is pretty good. Yeah, because when we planned the surgery, and we didn't know if he'd ever get back to be 100%, and that was a gamble we had to take, and it paid off for him. All right.
last uh, reflections on more All-Americans for the Demon Track and Field program? Well, it's just a matter of who out recruit a good athlete, come in and give them the opportunity, and they got to make the most of it. They certainly did. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. We're with Lady Demon track coach Mike Heimerman coming back from the NCAA Outdoor Championships in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, Mike, uh, uh, a meet that you were looking forward to because uh, Janae Allen got to go participate, but you also had, as always, ambitions of succeeding at a higher level than just participating, and that's exactly what happened. Janae came in seated 24th in the women's discus. She finished 10th and earned All-America honors. How surprised were you at that? Not, not really surprised. Uh, with the last uh, month of training, we knew that she could do something, you know, spectacular. You know, we could throw in the maybe mid 170, even 180 foot range, uh, and what she did. And what's funny is, is she didn't actually hit a throw at the meet. You know, she threw far. Don't get us wrong. I mean, she threw a PR on all three throws, but she never hit one. Like when you throw a, a, a throw, and you know that you hit it you know you hit it. And every time, even like her first throw, she, she threw it, she came out of the cage, and she was like, uh, what I do wrong? And I was like, don't even worry about what you did wrong, just go look at the distance, because she didn't even know how far she threw, and it was you know, a six foot PR at that time. Uh, and then each throw was kind of like that. She, didn't, she wasn't happy with how not one of them felt. So it, you know, it's, it's not surprising that she threw far, because she had been doing it all uh, last month in practice. Uh, so it, it was just a good day for her. Talk about what this means to our track and field program. Well, it's just a, you know, we have a, a long history here uh, of all Americans, and it just adds to it. Uh, you know, in the last you know 10 to 15 years, our throws program has really kind of stepped up onto the stage, and you know, just to put your name on that wall, period. Uh, you know, it's just to be an all American it is is something special because there's there's not very many, and they only announce 16 a, a year now used to be only eight, but 16 a year. I mean, when you're in the top 16 at your event, that, that's pretty awesome. I mean, because there's 32 or 33 conferences. You got to guess that there's probably at least 20 in each conference, if not 30 in each event. So you're, you know, you're looking at over six, 900 athletes in each event, and you're in the top 16. I mean, that's special right there. All right, Janae and her career and this year, at the beginning of this year, you really didn't foresee this, did you? No, I mean, yes and no. I knew that she could do some good things. Uh, unfortunately for Janae, we kind of used her as a workhorse. She, you know, discus was her primary event, hammer her second event, and I even made her throw the shot put this year. And there wasn't probably one meet that she got to do just the discus. I mean, we made her, or I made her throw every event, almost every meet. And uh, that's why some of the distances here at the end kind of didn't really surprise me because we kind of got to just focus on her primary event and then everything started really kind of started hitting because you know, when you have three events and we have to split it, practice a time with that you know, for, uh, in four days because most of our meets are either Friday or Saturday or both days in most of her cases. So it, it's just hard to get enough practice time, enough reps uh, with that uh, one event in. So it, this whole year has just been a, a, just a big workload and you know, we talked about it. I, I put a lot on her shoulders, a lot of pressure on her because she had to perform this year indoor. She might have had a little slip up, but outdoor she came through was half a point shy of being a high point scorer, which usually means that you're the, the, the best athlete at the meet or the, all, you know, the meet performer. So uh, we we're very happy with her field event performer of the year this year for the outdoor meet. Uh, I mean, it's just been a spectacular way for her to uh, cap off her career. We're with Janae Allen, recent Northwestern graduate, recent Northwestern track and field All-American. Which one is more surprising to you? Um, they're both, they both feel great. I, uh, it's just somewhere, something. I don't know which one is feel better, but they both feel great. You knew you were going to graduate. In fact, you delayed graduation to compete this spring. When you made that decision, was the opportunity to win a conference championship, which you did, and to uh, maybe compete at the national level uh, a major motivating factor in that? Um, doing this is, I, I, it took a lot of thinking to do this or uh, whatever, but I think I decided the, <laughs> the best thing to do and it was come back an extra semester and compete. Now, you were just hoping to get to the national meet and you were excited about qualifying for the national meet as you should have been. 
but you came in as the 24th seed in a 24-woman field. So what were your expectations beginning the competition last Thursday? Um, going there, I knew it was going to be a lot of competition, and I knew that the way I was ranked, I was at the bottom, and it was just an honor, and it was a blessing just to be there. But going out there, I put it in my head that I cannot be the last person. I cannot come out here and uh, just go with how I came out. Um, and I just know I had to get in there and do something. Now, when you, you were there in Eugene, the great spot in collegiate track and field, you're at the national championships, all these great schools around the country are there with their best athletes. That was your first national meet. Was that intimidating or was that a motivating factor or did you just block it out and said, this is like any other meet, I need to go out and do what I do? Um, I took this as a motivate. Uh, uh, like going out there, I knew that look, these are the greatest people in track and field, and I just tried to blend myself on in. All right, now that you've done it, what can you say about that experience? It almost, it almost feel like I've won it. I had so many people behind me. Um, Everyone is so proud of me. I got so many phone calls. It almost feel like I won the national championship. <laughs> so. well, speaking of that, you had a teammate who won the national championship in this event. Did any of Tracy's experiences help you along the way? Yeah, she helped me plenty. I took a lot of advice from her going out there. She, she also gave me a heads up of how everything is gonna be when I get there. So she helps me out plenty. So. Going forward now, when you reflect on this a year from now, five years from now, what is being an All-American going to mean to you? It means a lot. It's knowing that I can have my name on the board and it's going to be there uh, when maybe one day I come back and visit. It's st I still can go up there and look at it and it's still going to be there. And just knowing that I can say that I'm an All-American, it feels great. And then let's jump back to graduation day when you graduated in the morning jumped in the car and drove to Lake Charles to compete in the conference meet that afternoon and the rest of the weekend that too is going to be a special memory for oh, you yes. yes of course it will a lot of pride so what has been what, what what does it mean to you now having been a part of this track and field program and added to its tradition it means a lot I'm so happy that I I came here and competed in this track uh, track program it was it was great. It was a lot of memories, and I just find it's the best thing ever. So. And talk about Coach Heimerman and his impact on you as an athlete and a person. Uh, I, he built up everything that like I had done. Um, he was almost he was just like a second father away from home. So he helps me. He helped me out a lot. So, and I really enjoyed the time that I had to spend with him. Janae Allen, Northwestern graduate. Northwestern All-American. How's that sound? That sounds great. <laughs> All right, we're here with Gabe White of the 4 by one team. Just got back from Oregon. Um, yes. Gabe, how's it feel to be an All-American? It feels outstanding. It feels great. I mean, unbelievable when you think about it. Coming in as a freshman, I mean, it just feels great. Um, you, guys, you guys had one of the best times in, I think, 20 years. So uh, just talk about what went so well on the, on the track? I mean, preparing all year, knowing what you have to do to get it done. I, I thought it was the uh, best time over 30 years, uh, but we just all came together. Coaches, Coach Johnson, uh, Coach Dean Johnson, my upper my upperclassmen, I mean, all talking, knowing what we have to do on the day of productivity, we get it done. Um, have you ever been to Eugene before? Never. How was that experience? Uh, the whole, the weather was perfect. I mean, just being around world-class athletes was just amazing. I mean, just nothing but track was a great experience. Um, you mentioned the world-class athletes. You're among some of the best in the country. Was that intimidating or motivating? I, I wouldn't consider any other athlete intimidating just because we're both doing the same thing. And same day at the same arena. I mean, we're all just... <laughs> Athletes, I mean, I wouldn't call it intimidating. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. 
All right, we're here with Justin Walker. Justin, how's it feel to be an All-American? Uh, pretty good feeling. Um, you remember the 4x1 team. What leg do you run in the 4x1? I'm the ankle leg. Okay, so you guys had one of the best times in 20 or 30 years. So what went so well in getting you the stick so you can finish it out? Uh, really, it was just execution. Everybody ran the race they were supposed to run. The day we were supposed to run it. Um, it's like I asked Gabe, you're one of the, the best in the country. You're among one of the best in the country. Do you find that intimidating or motivating? Uh, I don't find it really much of either because we were there too. We're, at, we're all athletes, just in this, we're all in the same boat. So for us to do what we did was just, I expected it from our team. Have you ever been to Eugene before? I have not. I went to Des Moines, Iowa for nationals, but I've never been to Eugene. How was that like? It was a, it was a real good feeling. It was track everywhere. They really love track and field out there. So it was nice to go somewhere where track and field was the number one sport out there. You didn't have to come second to football, basketball, anything like that. Um, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when you look back, what will you say about being an All-American? Uh, that I did it.